Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another video. We had a little bit of a request come up recently, um, and that is to share the Vintage Collection's Biggs Darklighters Red 3 X-Wing. Um, now I'm, I'm really glad I still have this thing because uh, I missed out on the Luke Skywalker one from the Vintage Collection back in 2018, 2019? Yeah, it would have been 2019. Um, because I, I went with Poe Dameron's, which I did review back on my old Star Wars Go Figure channel when I was doing the uh, doing the podcast and I never reviewed it here on my channel so I'm going to be doing that as well this week or next <laughs> um, sooner rather than later but I wanted to go and have a look at this one because uh, the uh, Blue Leader X-Wing that's just coming out um, doesn't yet have a retailer down here in Australia so we can't get that Blue Leader X-Wing with uh, with uh, Anton Merrick Antoc Merrick sorry so yeah we're sort of left out to dry and um, I'd still like to get the Luke X-Wing at some point but uh, yeah we'll take a look at Biggs, Biggs X-Wing and you'll have to apologize I'll have to apologize because it's a little bit dusty um, I've had a hanging from my ceiling in the same spot for years now so it is uh, a little bit dusty <laughs> I should probably give it a nice clean before I um, take some photos and hang it back up so I will endeavor to do that before I before I hang it back up give it a nice clean out so yeah, I've got the three and three quarter inch black series Biggs came out in 2013. This X-Wing was also released in 2013, just after uh, the vintage collection sort of come to an end for the first time. Um, and yeah, Biggs was sort of relegated to the three and three quarter inch black series. So no doubt he would have been released on a vintage card had they decided to keep keep rolling with the vintage collection back in 2012, 2013. Um, but yeah, they obviously decide to switch things up and do a little rebrand, which in hindsight, <laughs> probably not the best idea they ever had because they ended up back at Vintage anyway. So, but yeah, a, a good figure and definitely, definitely required for this one. Um, so I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest this is completely, you know, ungettable <laughs> in the near future on a Vintage card. I dare say, you know, Hasbro likes to revisit the uh, three and three quarter inch black series that they did back in like 2013, 2014. So I dare say we'll be seeing Biggs again real soon. And, uh, you yeah, know, even an updated photo reel head sculpt would be nice, even though this one looks pretty good. I think it looks all right. So yeah, let's just put him aside so we can have a look at the X-Wing. Now this is originally a 2011 mold um, but I don't think it was actually released until 2013 where they did the TIE, TIE Fighter Advanced and X-Wing uh, Toys R Us pack which apparently was packed with the Red 3 X-Wing anyway <laughs> so this is the second time we get the Red Red 3 X-Wing because um, yeah, they, I don't believe that was Luke's I could be wrong on that but uh, anyway I only recently threw out the box for this thing I kept the box since 2013 and I decided I needed to finally part with some packaging <laughs> so I do have the X-Wing which is the most important part and uh, yeah no plans to move it so um, I thought why not just get rid of the box it's just taking up valuable valuable real estate in my collection so but yeah this has since been repainted and repacked um, red 5 X-Wing from 2018-19 I think it was 2019 because it was sort of around that time of the Rise of Skywalker coming out because they did the Poe X-Wing of course so yeah 2019 and just recently it has been repainted into the Blue Leader X-Wing for Rogue One which again I'm spewing that we can't get it down here in Australia but uh hopefully hopefully it snaps up somewhere so we'll see but yeah it's a it's a nice looking ship nice details on this one again Again, a little bit dusty in parts. I'll try and I'll just wipe that off as I go. Sort of wear and tear on the paint, on the trim. This sort of separate pull at the nose there. <laughs> That's nice and tight actually. Now I'm just gonna stick it back on. That's good, that's all good. So here we have the obviously the the red markings and a wing that's just decided to fall off. So I didn't stick it back on properly when I took it down off the ceiling. So yeah, red three. 
I remember for years I didn't even notice that that was, that was the markings for it. So you got Red 3 and Luke's has the five stripes there for Red 5 obviously, so I, it took me, I didn't realise that for so many years. Um, so yeah, we have a spot for his astromech droid, R2Q2, which is hasn't had a release since 2006, I don't think, so it's been a long time since we've had an R2Q2. I think a Disney droid pack came out with R2Q2, so that is one droid I need to get a hold of at some point. Um, there's so many astromech droids out there, I'm missing so many over the years, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it looks good, nice detail. Again, it's got the, uh, this sort of, it's like a classic backwards L slot, like the Boba Fett of old. Um, so that just sort of locks into the side to separate those wings. Uh, unfortunately, just that, the sort of plastic of the wings is sort of just bowed a little bit. Um, there wasn't a lot of stability in the uh, design of this. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a super strong plastic. Um, you know, like all plastic, it's gonna it's gonna warp when there's different weights on it and stuff like that. And of course, having having the wing, having that slight weight on it with the turret over the years has just caused it to bow a little bit. But it's not too bad. Um, best way to possibly fix it is to put it in a nice hot hot sink, hot water, and then. It should bounce back to its uh, original shape, and uh, you know, even flattening it, flattening it out with a with a phone book or something. Once you've heated it up, something nice and heavy you can put on it. So we do get a little bit of a pivot in the in the engine there, which I don't think I've ever realised before. I assume, I assume it's probably just part of the mechanism more so than it actually being accurate, because <laughs> it's. That's a bit of a wobble. But yeah, all the wings are removable like I showed with that one. The turrets are all removable on the, on the ends as well, so that's good. You know, it, it is very much the same X-Wing that we've had with uh, yeah, Luke's and the new, new one that's come out. So yeah, three bits of landing gear, you got the two at the bottom of the engines here, which you know, that doesn't really work because you kind of landing gear in the middle of the engine, but <laughs> it's Star Wars. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Um, and then yeah, you've got one at the front here, which does sort of kick back up, slots in, locks up. Um, and again, torpedo, and that does have a little flick missile in it as well. Which, yeah, it still works. So the proton torpedo launcher. Um, also under here there is another little, just a little maintenance hatch, which is, which is cool, just a nice little extra detail, not necessarily needed, but it's a cool little, nice little bonus there. Right, so let's take a look in the cockpit here, because this is pretty nicely done. targeting computer, which uh, I believe is articulated, and it pulls out, you can sit it, sit it out in front of the pilot, and just lock it back in like so, a sort of control yoke there, and that also lifts up tied on a little string that's just so it doesn't go missing but that also means you can have a little bit more room to stash the pilot in there get him all set up once he's in there once he's in there and fitting well you can just pop that back in you don't have to worry about trying to wrestle the figure underneath the underneath the uh, controls there so it just gives you a little bit more accessibility and then yeah, it should, should close, but his helmet's a little bit bulky. Probably not such a problem for Luke. Um, but yeah, Biggs is a slightly taller figure. So you could probably just wrestle him in there a little bit more. There we go. Biggs, going for his final ride. He didn't know it was. 
But uh, yeah, he looks good in the cockpit there. I think that looks nice. But yeah, apart from the sort of bowed wings, um, you know, there's probably ways you could reinforce that a little bit if you really wanted to. Um, I'm not too fussed. You know, it's it's just one of those things. You know, toys get old, they age a little bit. You know, this thing's... You know, if it was made in 2011, it's now 10 years old, so it's, uh, it's had its time. <laughs> it's certainly given me a lot of a lot of joy over the years, not the last couple of years because it's just been hanging on the roof, but I do like looking at it every now and then. Um, yeah, could definitely add some more weathering to this thing, um, especially in the engines. It's sort of a sort of blank grey there. But yeah, nice sort of detail, weathering all over this thing. I'm liking it, I think it looks great. And yeah, very, very glad to still have this sort of old school X-Wing in my collection because, yeah, didn't get a chance, like I said, didn't get a chance to get the Luke Skywalker one, um, which would have been nice. Uh, but yeah, I opted for Pose, which is up there. He'll be coming down for review next. And yeah, the, the Blue Leader one, which would have been fantastic, but we'll have to wait and see. Alright folks, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see any more sort of vehicle reviews, I'd love to I'd love to do some more. So um yeah. Drop a comment if you can. I'd, I'd be very cool, very keen to do do another one. So let me know. Uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, yeah. Come and hang out in my room with me with all my toys. All my action figures, ships hanging on the roof. It's good fun. That's what it's all about. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Till the next video, may the force be with you always.